actually, I'm really upset about it. Um, I don't get to go around doing things like that. He shouldn't either. This woman, who doesn't want to be identified, says she called Spokane police when she spotted a strange man walking between the homes in her South Hill neighborhood. There was a, a guy going through yards, going through my yard, going through my neighbor's yards, um, walking real close to all the houses. Arriving police contacted the suspected prowler, but the man, who would only say he was looking for a lost dog, refused to cooperate with them, and the fight was on. There was a point where the officer certainly felt that he couldn't control the situation and needed to bring his taser out to effect that arrest. It was at that point that other officers arrived and then they were able to take him into custody. Without tasering him? Without tasering him. Once officers were able to search the man, they found his wallet and identified him as Pete Bunch, a sheriff sergeant. Bunch was placed in custody. When Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich learned of his arrest, Bunch was put to work at a desk job until the investigation was complete. Is obstructing and resisting offense that can get a sheriff's deputy fired? Uh, depends on the, uh, the act. Um, it's not one of those that uh, is good for your career, I can tell you this. However, now Bunch's career may be saved by the Spokane City Prosecutor's decision to drop the charges against him. A spokesperson said given the totality of the situation and Bunch's lack of criminal history, the prosecutor was going to use his discretion not to go to trial. We don't get to do things like that, and surely an officer being in the uh, force for that long should not get to do it either. And KXLY4 has learned the 32-year veteran has a long history of disciplinary actions against him. He's been demoted from the rank of lieutenant and the focus of an internal affairs investigation for resisting the orders of an on-duty Liberty Lake police officer. You know, something has to be done. It's about time before something bad happens.